everybody quick video for you to start with shooting with a gimbal is not as easy as what you think however i have got one off trev so i'm gonna have another bash good morning welcome to sesco and Ernst with community scale model club i've got the gimbal in my hand and it's sort of like rotating my phone round and round and it's like really really difficult but it's the six is what state today is it 16th of march 16th of March 2024, and I'm hoping that uh, it, it's not going to be as jerky because I've got the buttons on the gimbal that let me do that, which is supposed to be nice and smooth. I digress, let's have a look round and see what people are doing. Steady, 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 steady. Chuffing, it's like a chuffing runaway horse, this. Right, so, shall I? Let me spin that back round. Because there's a bit of a lag on it, so it's like when you keep your finger on it, it keeps wanting to sort of spin round. So, subs table today, and then we've got our Sean in from SGS. Good morning. <laughs> now then, so, what's he doing? He's having a bit of a chat with our phrase at minute. Uh, and they're after some colours. So we've got some SMS in, bit of tape, and some brushes and stuff. Nice, 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 nice. Always nice to see Sean. And our Alan. Morning. Morning, Mark. Come on then, mate. Show me what you're doing. While I try and hold this chuffing thing. I'm doing half track this time. All right, okay. On a bit of a change. Right, hold it right there because I want to. Right, US multiple gun M16 motor carriage. One in 35. It is, yeah. Yeah, good old Tamaya. Shake yeah, and bake. Yeah, shake and bake, shake and bake. Is it all right, mate? Yeah, so far, so good. Cool beans. I'll tell you what I have noticed, Al. Loads of people have got these lights now, haven't they? These it's lamps. Piece of cat. You've got one. Well, and nice Pat's room. got one, yeah. yeah it's the lights a bit low and does it oh look at that magnifier as well right okay how do you use that would you use, do you ever use that magnifying glass or do you not yeah look at that yeah like that yeah look at that hell. i'm up with that mate Let's call cool, that. Nice to see you. Sat here. Nice to see you. Oh, phrase. Oh, phrase. He's busy gassing. Uh, Paul Pat. DT. All right, cop. I'm trying to get my hands together with this gimbal, mate. And do you know what? It's not that easy. Yeah. It's because Oh, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, hands like shovels and all. Yeah, absolutely, mate. I'm just trying to decide whether it does keep it more flowing. Because I am moving my hand, look, and it is gimbling. It doesn't look as shaky. It doesn't look as shaky. Let's have a look, Cop. Hang on a minute here. It's got a mind of its own, this bleeding thing. Now we're in dark there. Bobby under late down there, mate. Let's have another look. Right, okay, I've got that in. What's that? That is uh, Sergeant Eric. Let me have a look there. Let's have a look. Focus your chuff bag. Can't get it to focus. Yeah. Well, no, we've got two small mates. There you go. Bring it in nice and steady. Oh, yeah, I can see detail on that. That's all right, mate, isn't it? Sound is that one. Oh, my Christ above. Right, that's tiny, that, mate, isn't it? That's tiny. What's she doing? Standing with her hand on it. Standing with her hand on her hip. Touting. Touting. Touting, touting for business. Hi, ah, Jeannie Jean. Morning, Jean. What are we doing? Cheese ladies. Solid place to oh, yes, yeah, still on with cheese ladies, yeah. Tidy. Cheese. Cheese. More cheese. 
More cheese. Now then, 205. 205. Let's have a look at your instructions. I've got a right sneeze coming, I can feel it. All right. I'm having to look at I'm having to move my hand just to try and fight this gimbal. It's got a mind of its own. How's it going, Andy? All right, mate. Uh, put money, you can't get on. I think we're only 12 quid. No, oh, chuffing hell. So you can't complain. Definitely no. not. And you guys have got the lights as well, haven't you? Yeah. A big sneeze. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit under weather. Good morning, sir. Do you know what? Morning, Heath. It's these glasses. <laughs> because they sit right on the bridge of my nose there, Andy. Yeah. That makes me sneeze. Well, why don't you get some better fitting glasses? Because these are two quid from home bargains. <laughs> Tight. That's the one, yeah. Well, right. Still, still building my little. Uh, oh yeah. Bereg jobby. I don't know which colour scheme to go for. Whether I go for that. Yeah. Or that one. No, it's going to be that one. It's more colourful. Um, it is nice. It's, it's very. It's it's a good kit for money, and it's fiddly. I've already I've already seen the piece across the wall. Tiny little bit, which I'm never going to find because floor same colour as plastic. So happy days. <laughs> yeah, don't lose none, guys. Come on. What we got here? Who's that? Is that's got to be shallow, isn't it? Star Wars Legion and a British Army mobile chapelle. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, it looks like he's having a little bit of a debut. Ah, Graham. Oh, I didn't know you were tattooed, tattooed up to the back bollocks. Well, not that far, but yeah. I didn't. I didn't. He's hard, isn't he? Cleethorpe Ma Mafia. Cleethorpe Mafia. <laughs> yeah. Tats here. <laughs> hey, oh, what's happening here? No, I don't go there, Mark. This isn't like you. What's yeah, happening? He wishes he'd not gone there either. Oh, right. This is like in the Salieri motorbike. This is no numbers on sprues. Right, uh, looks like it's so going to be a decent size, though. Yeah, it's a one in 16 guessing game. A one in 16 scale guessing game. Yeah, that was good. I like it. Right, is it uh, is it causing your heartache? <laughs> you, you crack me up. Now, that hand is doing some stormtroopers, space marines, space marines. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, they look like stormtroopers, don't they? A little bit. Well, I just saw it white, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I do love your intricacy on your paintwork, mate. It looks spot on. Nah, no, si. Nah, no, don't be put off by gimbal rocking and rolling because it's got a mind of its own. But <clears throat> So, what 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 we got here? I've well, got a couple of... A couple of kits I'm trying to get finished that have been on the shelf for doing for a while. Oh, yeah. That one um, got knocked, knocked off the uh, the table, so some repairs need doing. Yeah. It's, an old kit. it's a, a, a old French block. Yeah. So it's a hella, a hella kit. Right. It's with 10. Um, not, the, not obviously not the greatest. Fit. No, 60s and uh, early 70s. Yeah, and then this one is an Atelier Caproni CA 311. I can't, I can't, I can't, punish, I can't punish myself into yeah. doing all these really old 60s and 70s kits. Sorry, because I know I'd just get frustrated to death, mate. Well, I thought. I can hold my skills on doing this, then later kits that are much better set will uh, be a rock in the back. Absolute breeze. Absolute breeze. Mark's just finished his bun. Want it a bun? Yeah? Because you were sucking that off your fingers there like your fucking life depended on it. <laughs> I want every single morsel out of that. Uh, we're not, are you not building? No, it's just helping me. All right, happy days. Right. So, uh, I'm what do you mean you've never done glass before? Never had to. 
clip out. Yeah, go get the clip out on the wall, I mean, mate. All right, true. But she's coming on. Hey, I'll tell you what. Chuffy now, look at that. I hope I'm up. That. Oh, yeah. I hope that's looking really nice. Yeah, that looks like a good shift. So I hate that. I love that colour. Yeah. That colour's immense. Great engine work and all. Thanks, Tina. Beautiful. So, what's the problem with the glass? I've never done it before, so I didn't want to get my fingerprints on it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, we've, got, and we've got this to have a go at. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like I said, to Andrew, so slow, it takes that long to go off. We'll probably leave that yeah. when we get home. Yeah, mate. I've thought about buying some of those white cotton gloves that snooker yeah. referees yeah. wear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you can also buy those little tiny little finger tip I've condoms. Have you seen I've them? Got, little yeah. rubbers on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. So okay. It's a learning curve today. It's a, it's a lesson building. I, I would get everybody in, but I'm, I'm literally like this. Happy days. Beautiful. Mr. Chris, Mr. Chris. I'm all right, caught. Well, I would be if I could. Do you know, it's giving me a bad hit, this. Because you like that. Yeah. Mincing run. Photo etch. Photo etching. What are you photo etching on? Oh, yeah. Jesus, are you still doing that? Good, yeah. Labour of love there, Cocker. You're not kidding. Andy, Andy, Andy showed me his uh, photo etch as well this morning. What scale is this ship then? 350. You see, that's not too bad, that. She's, she's a small ship, is she? What is it? The grass bee. Pocket battleship. A pocket battleship, as we call it. Right. Germans just called it heavy cruiser. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. Well, she had the same guns as the Shah Horse yeah. and the Jason. Well, you sound very clued up on your German ships there. Very clued up. I'm going to start my Vosper soon. Uh, I don't, I'm just, I'm good morning. I'm just playing with the tilt and pan. Tilt and pan. What we got here? What the chuffing? Hell? Every time I go to somebody's table now, I'm like, what the chuffing hell? Hey, oh, look at that. Bandai. How big is that? That's not big. Hey, oh, look at detail in that, though. That's really quite a deer, though, aren't they? The deer. Uh, About 45 quid for that. Could be. Probably. And what's instructions like? Because obviously, very detailed to do, and it's like photograph instructions as well, isn't it, Derek? It's uh, in fact, look at that, it's like literally like and a it's double sided, it's like a map. Oh my god, wow, that's uh, that's quite the part, incredible. They are really good kits, they just you don't need to use glue, they just go together, really. Yeah, they just go together. And obviously the detailing, bringing all that sort of detail yeah, out. With the really impressive thing is multicolour sprues. Multicolour, yellow, white, black. Right. Why? Why is that? Is it? Is it? They can do it. They do it. To is it to help you? Is it to help you build? All right. Okay. Well, they do for the gun band stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, mine will be painted. Of course, of course. White wing starfighter. Oh, it looks really cool, that, man. Oh, it uh, does look really cool. Logie Bear, good morning. He's been doing a bit of modelling for us this morning. I've been doing, been doing some editing. And uh, I've made you look like Richard Gear. Hi, uh, oh, Craigie, Craigie. Good morning. Uh, let me get you in there, you are, sir. What we're doing? Combat engineer tractor. Is this for just for fun? Yeah, or just for fun. How big is that? Why I always concentrate on the size. I think it's because of that That's tack on. It's decent size, that mate, isn't it? What mech is that? Accurate armor. Accurate armor. You do do a lot of accurate armor, don't you? Is it really? <laughs> Young Lewis, our Lowe's here, look as well. So, is that yours, Young Low? Yeah, that's what I'm building right now. That's what you're building right now. Okay. 
Uh, at, oh, what's that then? If you're building that right now, what are you doing with that? I'm not doing it right now. You're not doing it right now, but you're having a look. Yeah, it's good. It's some, I'm impressed that Ian can make that look, look like that. That's, that's amazing, that, isn't it? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Craftsmanship in there. What the chuff, you know? What we got here? What is that? What is that? Well, what's cut we all engine bit here? And it's like a mobile field gun or something. Mobile field gun. And then we've got, if I can spin this chuffing camera around, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. And then we've got a F-27 Maritime Patrol. He's enjoying it. He enjoying it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no, definitely not. Uh, and I'm Arky Mark. Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Right, we always have a catch up with you, so I can see an umbrella. Yes. A stand. Yes. With a hand on it. Yes. Parts of bodies. Yes. Can you uh, can you name the character? I, I want to say I've not. I can't see down there. But All right. Is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday. Oh, look at that. Get in. I didn't even. Oh, it is as well. This is there, what look. I was um, waiting in for. All right. Cool. Because when it arrived originally, her dress was broken. Yeah, I can see that. Mate. Thing, the hand yeah. was missing. Really. So I had a right old go in. Yeah. And he's recast that and. Put Why that. Ah, oh, brilliant. But the face is just extraordinary. Let's have a look. And you're in focus as well there. I just want to. That's really good. Isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And that's a 3D print. That's a 3D print and includes the umbrella, wow. which goes through her hand. Oh, yeah, so cool. Thing, thing sits on her shoulder. Hell, man, that's going to look mint, mate, yeah, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah when Ducky saw it, he goes, oh, his daughter's going to love that. Yeah, that's that's going to look superb. Yeah. I want to see that cocker when it's done, if you don't mind. Lovely jubbly. So, uh, look at these lads down here. Let me just, because uh, I'm still gimbling. Gimbling. It's not even a word. So we've got I'm supposed to stop you from getting seasick this gimbal, but all I've done is get seasick with it. Uh, all these turns that you can see, it's actually doing all on its own. And that's because I've not had enough practice. So sat here, we've got our Barry. Thank you. Our Patty. Paul Pat, the main man. Patty. And our DT. Happy days. So, are we having a lesson, lads? Yeah. All right, okay. Like it. Working on the same piece. Oh. Right. Absolute apprentice. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Well, no, it's uh, no, all good. Look at that finger technique. That's why Paul was so popular in playground. That's cool. <laughs> it's, it's what? 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 What's the matter? But let's have a giggle about it, haven't you? Tone's just plummeted. <laughs> Tone's just plummeted. Very good at bowling. Very good at bowling as well. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm literally pressing, pressing every button. Like, oh, there we go. Pressing every button I can. I'm going to let them lads crack on because Paul's trying to be really serious uh, and I'm just there uh, ripping the piss. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be quite quiet today, but actually it turns out, uh, oh, Mr. Chris has been as well, uh, it turns out it hasn't been quiet at all. Uh, one gone, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, I think. And everybody is busy weaving away.
and we've all had a breakfast as well. So I'm walking now with this gimbal, uh, and it's supposed to be as smooth as silk. Uh, we've been uh, taking some photos this morning uh, of our merch. We've had some people, uh, some of our people that have been doing some modelling uh, because we are uh, getting this website together for for club merch, uh, which is uh, kind of exciting. I'm full of cold, if you can't tell. Absolutely full of cold. Uh, lovely embroidery there from Glow Clothing. So, yeah, so this is the library part of uh, Upton Village Hall. Uh, and as you can see, we've had a couple of the lads stood there this morning doing a little bit of modelling. Okay. And that just about wraps it up. Uh, I say it every time. We're near Pontefract in West Yorkshire, and we've got loads of tables and loads of seats. Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club. Pop down and have a look and uh, see what you think. Catch you next time. Stay safe. Live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Cheers. Live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Uh, and people watching, thank you very much for that. Uh, because I can hear all sorts of things that are going off at the moment. Because just, I'm just telling me. I need to sort of stop all this and then go back on to that. I've got so many buttons, Andy. Good evening. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Hope you well. Yes, am I very well, Paul? How are you? Oh, loud and clear. I'm all right, mate. Well, I'm saying I'm all right. I'm not because I don't know if you can tell. But I'm a little bit sort of nasally at the minute. I've got uh, I've got this sort of like I was sat in here last night and I was chatting with Radders uh, and uh, and James and Leanne. Leanne came on and she was telling us about Mark. And uh, I just yeah. had a big sneeze. I was about ten minutes into the conversation. Just had a big. Bush, big state, and I'm not kidding, Andy. We in space of about an hour and a half. Paul will tell you, uh, we in space of an hour and a half. I'd literally come down with goddamn man flu. Yeah. Uh, but he's, he's telling me to add, uh, uh he's, he's, he's telling me to add, to add coffee, whiskey, whiskey to me, to me, coffee. <laughs> James says, Good evening, Rudolph, <laughs> Mr. Raptors. Uh, Apparently, my nose is red, uh, and my voice sounds a little bit sort of a, a little bit nasally, if you will. Uh, yes, I, I don't think my nose looks red, mate. Although it's hard for me to look at webcam and look at camera at the same time, but that's what it is. And how are you? Are you all okay? Yeah, sound right. You're. Uh... Tending to break up and uh, freeze up a bit. Am I? Oh, bear with me a second. Let me just yeah. have a look at my microphone settings. Microphone, microphone, microphone. Let me change that so. I'm going to change to that one, and hopefully that one's a little bit better. I think it depends on which camera I've got on, to be absolutely honest. Uh, right. At the moment, I've, I've, because uh, I know that me and you chatted about uh, doing live streaming and recording uh, late last year, and early this year, uh, and yeah. I've actually managed to put another camera. Uh, I'm going to need a goddamn camera crew if I carry on. Uh, I've managed to put yet another camera uh, on, onto me, uh, onto me thing, and that camera's over there. Yeah. The reason that I've done that particular cam, it's actually my phone. It's actually my yeah. phone, mate. Uh, I've got phone camera, web camera, and the PC camera. Because uh, you can download some software. So, when I take a little swig of this, which, boys and girls, a little bit of the good stuff. So, so Andy Rue Norfolk. Gene has gone to bed. We had uh, meeting number six today. Yeah, cool. 
Very cool. Do you know what? I must admit, uh, I think I gauge, I think I gauge uh, a lot of, a lot of club mates uh, on basically what the sandwich order is looking like because yeah. uh, you sort of wrong camera. Oh, no, in fact, I'll leave it on. Uh, I, I gauge the the depth of the club by the sandwich order. Now, obviously, if you don't know. Uh, Sesco Facebook page is a private group. It's a private page that we just let the members in on the people who come. Uh, and we put a sandwich order on the Thursday or the Friday uh, before before club. And I think uh, up to about three hours in, the Ronnie Young Lewis had put a sandwich order on. And I thought, chuff it it's going to be absolutely dead this week. Because I already knew, I already know that we were going to have certain people missing. Uh, because I chatted to him sort of like through the week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, book in front of me. Uh, Club Day 6, myself in. Presents, uh, Chris Barlow. Uh, childless today, our Mr. Chris, which let him crack on. Uh, right. Martin Meadow, no. Mr. Bridge. So, shout out for Mr. Bridge. Let me go down the line. Shout out for Mr. Bridge. So, yeah. we had... Uh, we had Leanne on uh, a chat last night, like I said, with me and Paul and James. Uh, and for people who are aware, unaware, Mr. Bridge, Mark Bridge, uh, he's had uh, a cough come cold and he's had it for a while. Uh, he got a little uh, KFC chicken nugget stuck in his sort of esophagus this time, not this time last year, later, later on in the year and couldn't get it down. And then he was fighting for breath and he couldn't. He couldn't keep any food down and they were eating and puking, which finally prompted him to go to the doctor. And the doctor looked at him and sent him for some tests and said, yeah, you've got cough come cold, otherwise known as esophagus <laughs> cancer, <clears throat> which, Andy, what a bit of a blow to us all. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Um, is it hell of a blow? Me and him have always hit it off. Um Obviously, you know that my past that I've experienced it before with uh, my first wife. I did, mate. We had to we had to be bang on with him. I've been straight with Mark and Leon. They've been, you know, behind him, got it all. Uh, no doubt you'll fill everybody in at latest details. But I think he's done really, really well. Uh, and the last photograph I saw of him, he looked better than he had done for a long, long time. Which to me says it all. You know what Very I mean? Much so. um, if you're looking well, you're obviously things are going better. Um, obviously, the pressure of what he has and the what was coming up, it was telling on him and Leanne. Uh, but now, the photograph that I saw of him, it looked like a weight had been lifted off him. His colour had returned. Um, so, really positive. Uh, but no doubt you'll uh, let everybody know what's happened now. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I, and I echo that, Andy. Uh, Leanne has told us about the procedure that he had last Thursday. Uh, esophagus cancer isn't something that you hear about every day, certainly not in, not in our neck at Woods. You know, the prostate cancer in men, uh, and lung cancer for the smokers, etc., etc. But esophagus cancer, quite a unique one for me. I'd never even heard of it, heard of it before Mark, Mark was diagnosed. Uh, so the telltale signs were there. He couldn't swallow, he couldn't eat anything, really struggling for breath. Every time he ate something, it, it always came back up. Like I said, the sent him for the scans. Uh, he's had some, I think it's uh, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, might even be both. But last Thursday, uh, strongman Mark, he had a 10 hour operation. Uh, and, and very delicate procedures, as you can uh, as you can understand. So the the cancer itself, what in sort of like this this particular area, quite low down. So they've been in, and they've taken that out, but that obviously leaves your esophagus there, going nowhere, uh, and they can't put a little bit of drain pipe in there. They've got to sort of fix it. So what they have to do is they have to lift. Lift your stomach up, basically under your rib cage, uh, and, and and sew it back together. Mark, 
uh, they, they had to deflate some lungs, one lung at a time, to, to roll him over and do this, to be able to get in, and all kinds of things. Very, very, very delicate and very tricky procedure, as I've said. But it came through it absolutely with flying colours, and it's the same as what Andy said. You know, the photos, he looked really well, he looked really healthy. Uh, and, and they sort of like said to him, uh, said to Leanne and Mark the other day, you really, really ready for going home in, in some respects, but we're just going to send you down for another CT scan and make sure that everything is absolutely tickety-boo. Uh, and unfortunately, when they came back, they said, actually, we can see two tiny little holes there. Uh, so we're going to put the feed pipe back in. We're going to keep it in front of the week, even though we're absolutely screaming for bed space because there's a queue of poorly people a million mile long behind Mark and everybody else, of course. Uh, and, uh, and they had to see to him. So staying in for another week and fingers crossed, touch wood and everything else. Mark's a great character. We love him to be down at Set School Club. Uh, he, he's definitely one of the boys. Uh, and we wish him all the best. Well, it, it just goes to show the amount of uh, shifting about <laughs> and moving about they've done in there. Because uh, he, he said to me, I, I, I messaged him the other day, and he said he was sore and whatever. And if you can imagine having your lung deflated, move to one side, move this, move that, move other, stuff that's not meant to move like that, it's yeah, going yeah. it's, it's to get sore. But yeah. play once he sits up and everything starts to relax a little bit more, uh, it'll it'll get back to normal. Uh, how the stomach being a bit higher will affect him, I don't know, because if he gets a bit oh. of a punch, he'll he'll probably have a man boob right in the middle if he gets a punch. <coughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I don't think he will. But obviously, the body adjusts to everything that you get, all the injuries you get, you can work around it and do it. So uh, he's got it nailed. The, the, the tears will probably return. Well, when they say tears, obviously they're massive tears, they're minuscule. No. They'll, they'll repair with the rest he's going to get next week. And I yeah. can see him being home week after. Fingers that's, crossed. That's, that's, that's my opinion. Yeah, mate. Uh, they have removed uh, they have removed 40% of, of Mark's stomach. Now, you know, with, when you, whether you're bio, biology minded or not, uh, you, would, you would surmise that. 40% is, is only, it's just under a half, isn't it? So, obviously, yeah. it's going to affect Mark's diet. Uh, I mean, he's not exactly a big lad, Andy, by any stretch anyway. No. Uh, so, to, to remove nearly a half of your stomach, I'm sure that they've, you know, sort of like had the technology to rebuild him and mm. keep, keep in the bit that he does need. Uh, yeah. But 40% forty percent's come out, so... But like I said, touch wood, fingers crossed, Leanne, Mark, we love you to bits, uh, and we hope that uh, you get well So, Big shout out. Yeah. Big shout out. Uh, DC, Derek Clark in today. I love seeing Derek down at club, because uh, Derek was uh, a relatively no starter with us at the Lawson Hut last year, and to see people continue to come, it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, Bob Darcy, Bob the modeler from, uh, from Doncaster, he's poorly. Uh, young Lewis in today never misses a beat, does Young Low? Uh, you, you talk about being addicted, Andy, to something. You talk, you literally talk about being addicted to something. That lad is completely and utterly a plastic addict in the best respects. He's taken to it like a duck to water, um, yeah, right. is, especially with the the armor and the tanks. Uh, as a prime example, uh, but it's six that he knocked out of the twenty-four. Yeah, six. Yeah, so last year's twenty-four. Last year's twenty-four hour build. Yeah, uh, and they were very good as well. They, they weren't just plastered together. I mean, they were no. they were brilliant pieces of kit. Uh, yeah, and I'll give it to him. Uh, I've said it to his mum. Uh, it's an absolute credit to uh, the club and her. Uh, him and Clemmy hit it off. So much shocking. I mean, yeah, it's like, like very good. Oh, they are, yeah. Every, yeah well, everybody's yeah. there for him. Martin's there for him. Uh, ev everybody's there for him, you know. So even yeah. when he came down to us, to the Telford, you know, we all yeah. looked after him. 
Um, and, and he's just taken to it like a duck to water. Really, really nice kid. Very much so. Uh, we got, Oh, what have we got here? We've got a comment here. So, Radders, what's our Radders saying? Saying he's not well. I think that's oh, back in reference him. to Mark. Uh, and uh, and this one, I think that one's aimed at me. It's you. Yeah, because I haven't got a gas ball. Yeah, fair play, Paul. Uh, I'll speak to you in about nine months about that, mate, uh, when I'm saying to you, have you all got a gas bottle? Uh, and uh, Mr <laughs> Taz869 loves you all. Uh, lovely comment. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. And I hope I did ping Mark before we came live and I said, we're going live at 8 o'clock. I'm going to give you a shout out. Try and watch. Heath Denton in today. Heath's picked up uh, a hobby boss. One in 48 F14 Tomcat. Uh, and came yes. to me and he says, have you built it, Mark? By any chance? Like, yeah, because I'm going to say no. I have built it. Uh, and I did actually dive straight into the box and we had a look through the instructions and uh, it's exactly the same kit that I built. Uh, Heath today does not pay subs because it's birthday. And again, yeah. down at Club, you know, it's one of the tiny little things that we can do to celebrate. Uh, we just say, if it's your birthday, uh, between the 1st of the month and the 15th of the month, uh, that's when Club Day 1 falls because it's the first Saturday of the month. So if your birthday is between the 1st and the 15th, that first meeting is free for you. It's our way of saying happy birthday. And if your birthday is between the 16th and the end of the month, that falls in uh, meeting number two, B month, and uh, and you get that for free. So happy birthday to Heath. Uh, Ian Clement in this morning, uh, large as live, superstar. But then we'll get down to the gruesome threesome. Trev Grace, Dave House and Bill Jones. Uh, so Trev, I do believe today, has been out with Bill. Uh, but I don't think House has been because... Did you see that picture, Andy, of House's... For all we've talked about is people chopping being poorly. Have you, talk, have you seen that picture of Dave's... Dave's yeah. It was it were quite a thing. Um, he's got some nice scars now, hasn't he? I don't think it's all gone 100% for him. Uh, he's back in. Uh, is he back out yet? He's, he's, he's back at home now, I love you. He's back at home, yeah. That's cool then. So, obviously, home rep, uh, when he's at home, he'll be able to hopefully move about enough to get some kits built. But, uh, yeah, all mate. bless me, but Dave, we're all thinking about you, mate. Absolutely. So it's like how else, you know. Absolutely. Uh, Dave's uh, so Dave had a bit of an ankle fusion operation late mi uh, middle two thirds of the way through last year uh, and uh, you know when blokes we just absolutely rip the piss out of each other so Dave's telling all us that he can't walk on it he ain't going right he feels this pain he feels that pain and we're sort of saying shut up you pussy you know what I mean it's get some weight on it go and start doing some walking turns out it actually gone wrong uh, bless him. I'm sort of like, I feel quite, no, I'm not embarrassed because I was just ripping him. Uh, but it, it's a bit cringy that we were all saying, come on, chopping out, pull his together. And then he went back yeah. to see his consultant and his consultant went, that's absolutely a bag of shit. We need to do it again. <laughs> so apologies, Dave. Apologies, mate. But uh, it's all done in the absolute, listen to our nasal eye sound. It's all done in the best possible taste. taste. <laughs> so, Bill, like I said, Bill and Trev have been out today. Uh, he didn't tell me where, but I can't remember. Uh, Andrew and Mark have been in today. And if you've seen the video there that I've just played, uh, Andrew is doing, uh, I'll tell you what, Andy, she's doing a cracking job on that, uh, that Jaguar. It's stunning, isn't it? It's a lovely little kit, is that? That Lovely. colour's really, really come out nice. And she's got that engine bay. Absolutely, the dog's bollocks. It really is cool. Really is cool. So, yeah, she's worked hard with it. I don't think she had many problems. She only came to me with, mid to me with one. And that was just a bit of a filing issue. But everything seems to be bang on. The colours are good. And like I say, yeah, the interior is a lovely, lovely job. That's going to yeah. be a belter. It certainly is. 
Uh, and Mark tends not to build at club, but he comes for a social aspect. Uh, Mark's a lovely, lovely character. You, you know, there's, I mean, I can't, I can't, I can't look that register and look at one name and say he don't fit in or she don't fit in because everybody, that that's the beauty of having, and I'm going to say that's the beauty of of, of having a, a luckily a big club because 24 people in today. And when you throw a, 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 a one person into a group of 23, you're going to find somebody who you can gel with. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, um, it, it's like young, uh, young lad and, and, uh, Clemmy. I mean, looking at them two, it's like a match made in heaven, isn't it? Yeah, mate. You know what I mean? Yeah, mate. Absolutely. Uh, Radha says, if you're watching, uh, I've got some 1 in 48 Lanx seat belts. If you want them totally free of charge, I ordered the wrong scale. Uh, I'm not sure uh, who that is aimed at. Paul, if you want to just elaborate on that one. Uh, so, Gene and Andy in today, I'll tell you what, every time I look at that, uh, every time I look, and, and I will get the Facebook page up shortly when I've done register, every time I look at that pink Zuddy, I'm just more and more impressed with it. And yeah. forget that I'm a bloke sort of shit. I obviously, I'm, I've got a tail, I'm a bloke. Don't necessarily mean that I can't appreciate something that's that's just nice and pleasing to the eye. And that that Zuddy yeah. on Gene, Andy, it looks it looks absolutely yeah. superb. Yeah, and it, it suits as well. The colour brings a natural so effervescent out, if that's yeah, if that, right. So yeah, uh, and she's she's not one for loud clothes, as you know. Uh, yeah. But that one, it soaks her to a T, and it does yeah, lift mate. her. So yeah, yeah, pretty it's cool. Good. Uh, Rooster in as well today, uh, as usual, emptying his wallet again, Andy. Ah, uh, yes, per. Yeah, as it cost per. me about. It cost me about how much did it cost me about? Really cheap today, about seventy quid all told. <laughs> <laughs> not kidding. Yeah, yeah clothing right. photo is about 70 quid. It costs me between 70 and 100 quid every time I go. Do you know what, obviously, obviously, joking aside, the funny thing is, look, at the end of the day, we have to charge subs because we have got... Oh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and, and, uh, and, and buy public public liability insurance. But the thing is, we, we play the bonus ball, as you know, and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, and the numbers started going quite well today. And it, was, it got yeah. to the point where... I said, there's nine numbers left. Uh, does everybody want one? And, and Andy, because it's Andy and Jean, uh, and it's same as Mark and Ange, and it's same as when I take George. When I take George, I buy myself a sandwich, but I've got to get George a sandwich. And everything's doubled up, mate. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah that's exactly uh, right. So, yeah, we always laugh about Andy emptying his wallet. Paul Patton in today doing some tutorials with Barry. Uh, and Doug took on the airbrush. Dougie actually, this one another funny one. I don't know if you know this, Andy. No. Dougie came to me earlier on. He says, uh, Mark, where's the airbrush hose? Oh, I said to him about it. Yeah, go on. I says, what, I says, uh, I says, what, <laughs> I says, what do you mean? He says, where, where, where's the airbrush hose, mate? I can't, I can't find the airbrush hose. I says, I'm pretty sure that the last person that borrowed it was well, well, Bridgie. Uh, I says that happens. He's uh, he's got it. Uh, I, I, I can't remember. Daddy, da. He says, oh, right, I'm gonna go home and get my airbrush holes because I want to do some airbrushing. I says, No, no, no. Nip down to my gaff, get him my keys from my shed. I says, Nip down to my gaff, just go and get mine, mate. I says, Our lass is either in or she's out shopping with Charlie and, and, and George. Just let yourself in, get it, and come back. So that's what he did. Came back to the club, and we'd been sat. And then the breakfast came, the sandwiches, and I was taking the soaps, and da da da. And then when I finally got round to filming the vlog, I went round to see Doug, and he went, "You'll never believe it." This is what he went. The airbrush hose was actually wound round the compressor. <laughs> I didn't even need a spare one. Uh, so I mean, chuff me. We've all been there. We've all done that. Yeah, mate, I says, well, what did you think it was? He says, I thought it was power cord. And I, and I just sort <laughs> of, I agreed, I agreed with him for simple reason being, for simple reason being, obviously, you don't want to show your mates up. And I thought, you thought it was power cord? 
You've got it <laughs> chuffing plugged in, you chuffing dolls, then. <laughs> <laughs> Proper. Martin Bradford in London this week and Graham Sanderson again an absolute credit. So Graham that and, and I say it all the time, Graham that comes all the way over from Cleethorpes. Now you your club that you go to, you've got to have some kind of pull, Andy, to get a bloke to get up at crack of dawn to get in his car and travel 65 mile one way. Yeah. To come and do four hours to travel 65 mile back. That's twice a month. Yeah. Of a commitment. He's a great guy and obviously he he enjoys the atmosphere. Um, yeah, and he's taken to it tight. Like I don't know his history from before joining club. Uh, but he's always there. He's always um, uh, keen. Yeah, mate. Uh, he's always doing a, a really good job of what he does. And yeah. what he doesn't do is. Uh, we'll be invading his house later this year. I think yeah, you might have dropped a subtle hint, didn't you? Yeah, I did, uh, yeah. I think, yeah. I think, I don't know how many bedrooms he's got, but they're all going to be full, mate. Uh, <laughs> because uh, obviously the uh, the air show there later on at the year at Cleethorpes will be spectacular. So don't let yeah. us down, mate. Uh, I oh, think we'll all have a, a continental breakfast rather than going for the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Their lass will be watching this, she'll be going, who? Who? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then he'll, he'll be upstairs, he'll be upstairs yeah. now doing some modelling. She'll yeah. be downstairs and she'll be like, and he'll mute it and he'll hear this. What the chuff are Bless him. Bless him. Uh, <laughs> I saw him today from SGS Model Star. Yeah. Always a a few bits. Do you know what? Uh, I don't know if you went up to his table today, but he seemed yeah. to do a bit of all right today, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He seemed to be moving a bit of a stuff. Seemed um, to be busy today. I didn't, I didn't personally get up to him this time because I stopped up the time before. Yeah. So he's always there. He's always end of a line, always end of a message. Yeah. <laughs> always gives the club a great deal, which we're eternally grateful for. Yeah. He can get all of old anywhere, that bloke. Very nice. I do know a couple of lads that uh, run clubs. Rob in Canada and Ev in uh, Wales and Red Dragon. And I know that they are particularly lucky because they have their clubs actually in model shops. They have them in All the right, back yeah. room at model shops. So it's, uh, I mean, how cool would that be? But at the end of the yeah. day, we've got the next best thing because... Sean comes on the second meeting of every month. Uh, he absolutely plies his ass out on our Facebook page, putting uh, loads and loads of great kits and great offers uh, for the people to come and get. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's always got a good backup. Like I say, get in contact with him. You can either get it posted or wait for him to turn up at club. Absolutely yeah, bang on. And the, the special discount we got, you can't thank him enough. Definitely not. Uh, Shanna making an appearance today. Shanna, Shanna Shishkin. Right, so, Shanna. Uh, another one that's uh, that's been uh, a little bit poorly, Andy Simpson. Uh, he's had an operation on his knee. Lovely to see Barry. Do you know what? Barry, again, is like... Uh, He's, he's so melancholic. He's so uh, quiet in himself. Keeps it, you know. B Barry is a, is a, the elderly gentleman. If, if if you bumped into Barry, apart from thinking Jesus Christ, I would have break him. He's the kind of guy that would apologise to you for being stood yes. in the way. Yes, he would. Yeah, you know really I mean? and it it reflects in his work as well. Uh, yeah. the, the 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 mythology. And the meticulous way he goes about it, uh, and to be fair, he's very new to it as well. I yeah, mean, he is, the, the story is, you know, he, he came in. Oh, we're going to build a Spitfire. Oh, nice one, yeah. seventy-two. Oh no, stuff that I'm going to build this, and he's done a cracking job of it. Absolutely, so has, cool. yeah. and I saw the mosquito cockpit that he started for the Tamiya one, and it looks. Yeah. Absolutely, bang on. Wow, absolutely. Pucker, pucker. 
Uh, yeah, shout out to our body, top, top champion fella, uh, Mr. Chris. Uh, I love Mr. Chris. I think he's, uh, I'll tell you what, but, uh, and, and again, uh, what a looker, Mr. Chris, with that chuffing got. I wish I could grow my beard like Mr. Chris. And he's got that, he's got that gorgeous chuffing hair. And he, he, he's wearing club stuff. He looks chuffing mint, does Mr. Chris. He had to shoot off today. Yeah, I hope uh, everything went all right. So his dad will feel it was, well. yes. Yeah, he, te yeah. he texted me a little bit later on and said, I, I'm really sorry he had to shoot off, mate. Uh, this happened to daddy, daddy, da, but everything's okay. Excellent. Uh, Rob Smith, no show. Dale, uh, Dale's got a plate full, so unfortunately couldn't make it. Uh, Craig Stinson uh, and brings little Logie man. Do you know what, Craig and, Craig and Logie? Craig and Logan. Logan, he comes down to and he sits on his tablet, Andy, and he don't make no force. He don't, he's no bother for, for such a little lad. No, he ain't. No, he ain't. He's, just, he's, a, he's a credit to his father as, as he well. He really uh, is. And you cut Craig in half and he bleeds, says school does that, lad. Mr. Yeah. Stringer, nice to see. He doesn't always hit, but when he does, it's, uh, it's lovely to have Alan on board. Yeah. Uh, Dougie Tucker, uh, thanks for locking up for me today. Doug I had to shoot off. Uh, we're about 20 minutes to go. Simon, uh, Simon again, I, I've, I've set up video. Simon, such a busy, busy guy. And uh, yeah. in between running pubs and doing the plumbing course, and sons and daughters, and wives and dogs, and housework, not housework. Uh, renovating house and doing kitchens and gardens uh, and, and he says I, I just don't find the only time I ever find time to model is when I come here yeah yeah uh, so credit to that Andy White uh, are you building stormtroopers space marines uh, <laughs> yeah straight Boy, away. Sell your daddy flames there didn't he <laughs> yeah, <mate. Yes, laughs> oh no yeah. none of that starts it shit here mate I just looked on the top and I thought, oh, because look, end of the day, I've got these right, yeah. and and I, I can I can see the screen now, uh, and and I can see everything over there. But put something in in front of me, and I've got no chance. So when I looked over and I just saw these tiny little white figures, the first thing that entered my head was stormtrooper. Oh, oh you're building yeah. on the stormtroopers, space marines. <laughs> <laughs> it's just. He just whipped it out at Ulster and got you at both ends. It did, mate. Absolutely. Easy. I tell you what, he makes me laugh, that man. He makes He's me such boss. a nice look. It really is. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and Andy White, Andy White, again, he's a quiet bloke, but he's one of them. He's, he's sensible, but he's so dry. Oh, he yeah. Can, he can tell a joke without it being a joke, and you can yeah. still end up in chopping stitches, mate. Yeah. Uh, Marky Mark turned up, uh, waiting in for the parcel this morning. Again, you saw that on the video. Uh, Mark was waiting for the recast of his Wednesday bust. Uh, Andy Artup travels, uh, Andy Artup again, mate. Andy Artup, Jesus Christ, yeah. all the way over from the other side of Chuck Morley yeah, on like three buses, four trains, and in an airplane to get to yeah. Artup. I felt sorry because I had to leave him at bus stop with us going all the way. Oh, uh, bloody bugger. Yeah, bless him. Yeah, I really like him. I don't we don't see him enough to be yeah, honest. He's a good kid. He's a good enough. kid. Uh and then last but not least, Fraser Jepson. Fraser. Uh Fraser's not been for so long. What a nice like guy to see. What a I'll tell you, know, you nice what, he, he's been man. mate, yeah. he's been absolutely through the fucking mill, that lad. Absolutely. With his missus, I can't, I can't remember. Well, I tell you what, that's first time he's been this year. Yeah, because I ain't got his name down. In, uh, I ain't got his name down. Uh, so, like I said, bonus ball. We charge two pound a ball. There's fifty nine numbers. Two times fifty nine is one hundred eighteen pounds. Uh, and if you remember last month. Uh, so what we're on now? We're on March. So in January, all the balls did not sell. Uh, because they don't always all sell. So that means that when the number one drawn out, which was number 16, nobody bought it. So the rollover went into February. Uh, and as usual, when we get a rollover, Andy, yeah, everybody's like flies around shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you've got 
You've got a, a, a cumulative, I think it was about 60 odd quid from January. Yeah. Knowing full well that all the balls are going to sell next month. Uh, and we give 80% to the winner. So last month's winner, uh, Young Lewis, £156. Yeah. Uh, but this month, there's 59 balls, like I've said, and 58 of them have sold. So there is one outstanding. And you watch. Yeah. You watch. Yeah. And I hope it is. I chuffing hope it is. <laughs> right. So. <laughs> I do it all. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to... Show, hey, where have I gone here? I'm going to share my screen. And you should be able to see that on your screen. Jesus Christ, yeah. look at that. Yeah. I think I just need to go back into that and uh, get rid of this little old message. Uh, yes, that is me. I have edited my own photo. Yes, that is my Facebook profile page. Uh, because as you can see, they're harder and steam back. Keeve Dark Airbrush uh, is very much uh, on on the radar. Uh, probably, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, for for next month. Actually, right. Uh, I, I am. I'm actually hoping to have that in, in my possession, mate, uh, for next month. So. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me just. I'm going to minimise that. Uh, I can get. I'm just going to click a couple of buttons at the minute. Uh, I'm going to open that one back up. I'm going to open that one back up. Uh, and where? Can't see. Come on, you bugger. I think I've closed the wrong window. Oh, no, I haven't. There it is. There it is. There it is. So, what I need to do is, I'm just going to open a new tab on the old uh, on the old screen there. This is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do that. So you can see, yeah, that's my that's my page. Yeah. So I need to go into clubs. Let's go and find the clubs, uh, the groups, and the Sesco group. There we go. There we go. So, starting up at the top, change banner today to Mr. Chris, and you can see what I meant with that rocking beard. And, yeah. Uh, absolutely. He's got, that Roger, absolutely. He's got that Roger Whittaker look. Do you remember him? Just I do remember Roger Yes, I do, yeah. yeah. He starts whistling. Absolutely. That'd be me on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, mate. And our Simon as well, side by side. And, and the reason for that photo is because we were doing the merch. So, uh, let me come out of that one. Uh, that so Oh. Oh, Mark Wilson. Uh, when did he post that? Tw Does that say 23 or 2? 23 hours ago. I can't quite see what that is. Now, Doug Tuck. Dougie Dougie Tuck Tuck uh, has been doing some figure painting today with the help of Mr. Paul Pan. And if you look at them. Yeah, there's something else there, Mark, there. And do you know what, as well, Andy? That's airbrushed. That's all yeah. airbrushed. Yeah, I do believe so, mate. Yeah, because uh, Paul runs an eye water, uh, and uh, it is the most expensive airbrush in the world ever. Uh, and okay. it's, uh, it, it, yeah, it can get in really, really close with that one. Jesus. Now then, I seen this earlier. This one threw me. Yeah, that was a bit so, of a shock at that. Yeah, mate. So, people, uh, so David Smith, uh, last customer of the day, uh, and somebody saying, Who is it? Da, da, da. We can see that it's Al Murray. Uh, if you didn't yeah. know, Al Murray is a bit of a modeler. Uh, and there he is, frequenting Diamond Dave's shop in Halifax. 
packs because that's the place to go if you want. So, moving on, let me just make that full screen. So, we've got these are the shots that I took uh, for the uh, for the Glow Family merch page, and that's young Logie Bear, Craig's young lad, rocking the Phoenix and the number seven for our seventh year anniversary with the Spitfire on the back. Sesco names with Community Scale Model Club. That's his dad, our Craigie. And I'm saying, just look natural and just look over there as if you're looking at something more pissing and sense laughing because I'm going, no, you're not looking natural. You're not looking natural. I am looking natural. <laughs> you know what I'm like? like one look there, don't they? Look at you. Uh, all oh, the eggs is a yeah, back there. Uh, well, yeah, in fact, I will. Uh, and there's the back. There's the back. Here she is. Look at that. There she is, my little princess. Yeah, yeah. And she's saying, she's, Andy, she's saying to me, don't get me arse in. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> she won't listen, mate. She'll never listen. No. Don't she get said, me I didn't tell, I, oh, she says, Mark, I didn't half look miserable. She says, you don't look chuffy miserable at all. You look, if that's miserable, I'll wake up to that every day a week. You should have seen her after the game. Now that were miserable. Bless her. There you go. Now, after Bradford me, match, yeah, we just froze oh, up a bit there, mate. There's no, there's no wrong with that, is there? No at all, mate. Nothing at all. Uh, breathable T-shirt. So we've gone for a breathable T-shirt. Uh, breathable T-shirt uh, this year because uh, we we do have the uh, cotton thick cotton polo shirts, uh, and, and again you can find them all on. If you go onto the website and you need to type in Glow Family, and that's in fact I'll, I'll put it in the comments. It's G L O W E Glow Family, uh, and you'll find you'll find the the merch. All this merch. He's on there. That's uh, Fraser uh, rocking the, the zipped hoodie. Good old Fraser. Uh, and it, it, even Fraser went, hey, I'll tell you what, I don't, because that's not his. That's that's actually, uh, that's Rob's. That's Rob yeah. Smith's, but Rob weren't at club today. He went, help, I'll tell you what, I don't chuff it like this. It looks gorgeous. Uh, Mr. Chris and, uh, and our Simon, we're a bit of photo editing. From the original. Uh, and, again, I, and I'm saying, right then. Mr. Chris, stand, stand, oh, stand behind Simon and put your hand on his shoulder, but not like that. <laughs> Don't put both hands on. It looks like a grand catalogue photograph. That's brilliant. But, do you know what? They, they were both saying, do you want us to do some, do want us to do some pointing? That's it. That's the one. <laughs> Look at old, the map. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> That's and there's our sight. Breathable T-shirt, and that's the back of it. And I do believe, yeah, that's it. Excellent. So the merch, uh, let me put uh, the comment on there. So the merch is available at G-L-O-W-E, family. I hope I've spelled that correctly. Glow family. Uh, and that is on. Have I put it on the right one or have I put it on the wrong one? My chuffing head's absolutely bosting. <sighs> Have I put it on the right one? Can't, uh, can't see. Anyway, I digress. Let's go back to groups. Let's go back to Sesco. <sighs> and open some more. Oh, let's just open as many tabs as we can because, uh, oh, there we go. Right, okay. That's not showing. Why ain't that showing now? What the chuff? Bear with me while I sort this chuffing technical. <laughs> right, so. I mean, like you're right. juggling about four computers, mate. Uh, mate, I am actually. Well, I've got so many chuffing windows open at the moment. What I need to do is I need to get back on here. So. So there's the link. Uh, that's for the people who are part of club. And actually, I'll bet if I just tap on that, that's going to take take you to the link. Uh, has it opened on our page on the live stream? It hasn't. No. 
it hasn't opened on the live stream. Uh, not to worry, not to worry. Uh, there's the link anyway. Uh, so just to, so what we're doing again was celebrating the members uh, on banner instead of having an aircraft or a tank or a ship or a bus or a bike. Uh, Mr. Chris and RSI, no members, uh, take the no members banner, relatively still no, to, uh, but certainly a top man, Mr. Chris. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, looks awesome in the seventh year anniversary, Zuddy. And a real pleasure to have on board. And one of our originals, uh, Simon, doesn't get much time at the bench with the busy life, so does what he can at Sesco. A really kind-hearted pair of chaps looking good as the banner. Thank you both for your support. Superb smoking, says Doug Tuck. It's amazing. Now, if you remember amazing. on the video... It's, it's amazing, isn't it? And no matter who you point out in club, they're always uh, kind. They're, they're either wanting yeah, but... to learn or can teach you, or yeah. they want to, you know, join in and do things. It, 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 tell you what, mate, it's, it's a right mixture. Yeah, mate. Oh, chucking the lamb, man up. Uh, if you saw the video earlier, uh, Mr. Chris, who's just been on there, said, Oh, I've lost a part. Uh, and actually, Heath Denton, it was uh, Heath Denton. found it. I mean, talk no, about... I found, no, it was Heath Denton that lost it, and I found it. Oh, right. Oh, well, thank you for that. And cheers. That's a nice no, one. No. Happy days. Uh, I'm going to put that... Uh, uh, I'm going to put that off. Uh, where, where am I going now? Uh, show. I need to show that one. There it is. Glow family. If you look on... If you look on Google or whatever Bing or whatever your browser it is, type in Glow Family and you'll see the head of their Sesco and Hemsworth Community Scale Model Club. Yes, they are slightly dearer than what they would be for us at the club. That's because there's no PMP because I picked them up. Uh, Graham, who lives in Cleethorpes, as we mentioned, says it's Red Arrows display schedule in full uh, Armed Forces Day. And like Andy says, I think we're all going to go on mass uh, for the day out. And our mate. Whereas over in Doncaster, the Battle of Britain memorial flight uh, will take to the skies. Now, Mark Lid, who is actually out this evening, Mark is doing what is a P47 and 1 in 32 scale. That's a bonny looking thing, that isn't it? It bloody is, mate. Uh, I'm not quite sure what kit that is, but he's doing a cracking job. That's that's some great masking off there. Oh, it's only masking. No, it's not only masking. You you put masking tape down. You want a fucking straight line, lad? You fucking know. You fucking know. Otherwise, that's one of the hardest things. That's one of the hardest things I've ever tried to do. Is that point as it goes towards the rudder? The number of times I've had to start yeah, and start again, you know, to get the either side of what well, obviously there isn't a the seam there, but either side of the center of the fuselage to get that point yeah. just right takes some doing. Right. I'm glad now. Listen, I'm glad. Uh, oh, James, James says it's a trumpy, uh, a trumpy mark P47. So while you're here. Because the yeah. name at the top of this post is Andy Norfolk, right? Let me just dig yeah. into this photograph and make it big. Can you please explain what is going off here? Right. I, I am in the process of making a diorama, right? Which is yeah. obviously farm-based. Now, as you look right. at those photographs, you'd think they are yellow sheep. Well, I think... Yes. They're not yellow. They are actually right. a dirty white, which was there's still a lot of work to do on them. Uh, yeah, and obviously, the dog is now a golden. The dog, dog, <laughs> is now going to be. A, I think it's going to be a chocolate lab. I think I want right happy with black. So I've. Uh, uh, there you go. Let me just get that in focus for you. Uh, yeah, that's going to be chocolate, and I'll just show you. Now you've got me big. They yeah. are not 
They are a nice colour. The other one's knocking about somewhere, which has had a bit more work on it. Yeah, mate. So it does look a bit darker. Uh, now, are they, when, are they have a resin cast on the other? You, no, you have to attach the legs they're, or what? They they were a gift from Mr. Patton. Um, yeah. If I can find them, which I can, they are 35 livestock. Hence, oh, all right, look at that. It's, I've got cow, horse. Uh, yeah. What a doberman's got to do with farms? I've no idea. Uh, well, yeah. I was trying to. I was going to try and uh, paint that as a collie, but obviously a Labrador. It's got its own body, so yeah, mate. Yeah, so livestock. Uh, that's where they came from, Mister Patton. Thank you very much, sir. So Cheers that's up. something on the go at the moment. Magic. I did look at them and go, why? Why have we got yellow sheep? No, it was uh, a bad thought. Now you've explained it. I did pull, publish enough. another one, but you can actually tell that they are not yellow. That's they the better one yellow. of the two. That's more more weathered than Sorry, mate. if you can weather a sheep. You said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Well, no, no, don't. Don't even go there. Don't, no. Hello, my dear. Are you weathering sheep? Yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Almost as it, good mate. as you sharing it. that. Are you sharing that sheep? No, you can get your own here to <laughs> uh, Happy days. Uh, Sean posted on a couple of days ago and says, Paul, this looks familiar, which is actually uh, a part of the Airfix Model World magazine with 18,000 followers. Uh, and you can see there, we have actually. Uh, we have talked this one to death. I did say to Paul after he picked up the uh, the trophy at Telford, after he picked up the trophy at I don't think Bolton had one. I can't remember. Definitely uh, did. Uh, Le did Bolton have a competition room? No, Leeds did. Bolton. Yeah, and he won Bolton, best in show. No, I don't think. I can't Bolton remember did. Bolton. It's out of chuffing no. far back. Uh, but again, for for the people who have seen it, uh, you can appreciate the work. This is this is a, a diorama that Paul Patton uh, made for competition, and uh, I mean it just exudes excellence in, in every goddamn breath. It makes me sick. It's won two golds, to my knowledge, ain't it? Yeah, mate. Yeah, he's 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 a different class. Uh, Davey also we've ch chatted about uh, mail call. Looking forward to giving this a go. Thank you to Paul Bretland of Pro Sale Paints. Uh, and that is the brand new. We were talking about that at club today. Yeah, we were, yeah. So I run. Uh, I'm, I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually on my bar sharp at the moment. Yeah. Uh, for, for, for what I'm painting. But I also run a harder. So that's an Infinity CR plus two in one. And you can see there that that is also a CR Plus Evolution, and that's the brand new boxing of that particular airbrush. And Dave's tret himself to that one. Uh, and that's they're not cheap, them, Andy. Look at prices, and I'm, I'm, my knees. It's nice, not yeah. cheap. Yeah, mate. Uh, Kev Green Distance member, Kev is currently building, uh, what's he, he's building like a bulldozer, mate. Yeah. Uh, and, and talk about bloody horrible yellow plastic, but there, there we've got a little bit of construction. Yeah, uh, I love the way he's modified the bonnet as well. Uh, I think, I'm not sure if the pictures are actually on this particular post, but if they're not... I mean, talk about Chuffy and Garish, God above. Yeah. Uh, if they're not on that particular thread, I'm sure. Here we there go. There you look. So, there Kev, uh, Kev's done a pretty good job. I mean, that's that's actually the wrong pictures to, to show. That's the right pictures to show. So, the big yellow yeah. part there, that's it. 
uh, and you can see that he's already sort of penned, penned in. Drilled some holes out like you know. I'll tell you what, Kev, you need to learn how to hold your drill straight. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, then we've punched it through. Perfect. And then we've added some grills, uh, which I do believe is it's that really thin wood, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think it is. I'm not 100%. Uh, and another cracking job on that, mate. Stunning. Do you know what? It's that 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 part of the hobby, Andy. When you can, and I've done it myself. I did it with tornado with the uh, with, with the uh, engine cover, uh, and I and I've done it a few ad hoc bits and a couple of models, and it and it is it, it is uh, it is you do feel very accomplished when you've done that. Yeah. I've done a bit of biking. Uh, Graham again from Cleethorpes. Uh, what's he said to that one? He said, got on with the triumph. This piece, this piece made me sweat a bit. Let's have a look at it then, Graham. Here we go. Yeah, look at that. Deary me. Yeah. Tell you what. Yeah, I think he's referring to that piece. I would imagine so. Because it looks yeah. like an actual spring. I don't know what you'll think. Uh, I think it well. I built. I have built that Zundap, and you do get springs in it. Yeah. Uh, but very good, very good. Uh, bit of a bit of a problem that I have there with the decals uh, on Padre's Red Arrow, but it is coming good. good. Uh, just need to get another coat of gloss on that. Doug Tuck says, "Follow the QR link to our very own Crayon Munch and Graham Stinson also had a mention." Uh, so why, where, where was that? I can't remember. That looks like Bolton to me. I think it was Bolton, you know. Well, that blue uh, behind, I think that's Bolton. Yeah, I right. might be wrong. Well, the comment in the magazine says, while post shots of an aircraft with the various weapons it can carry out are de rigueur for promoting its capabilities. Sesco and Emsworth community scale model clubs. Craig Stimson, oops, uh, went oh. for a similar effect using kit form services and our 1 in 24 Scammel Crusader EKA recovery vehicle instead of munitions. He supplemented the kit's recovery equipment with the same firm's accessory set to create this eye watering display. And let me just make that as big as I can, like that. Uh, and we ha we have seen that in the flesh, and uh, he's he's done a cracking job with that, as I Craig. Oh, and yeah, not half. All, all his stuff's absolutely bang on. Absolutely, only stuff I can aspire to. Big. No, yeah, I can't uh, it with these, but uh, that were good. Oh, now they sound job that one. No, down. Now then, let's have a minute here. Right, so Doug Tuck, let's get let's get it going. So check, check, check it out. First lady, I love that. First lady yeah. of Sesco and Emsworth yeah. Community Scale Model Club in this edition of Airfix Model World. Well done to Gene. So for the guys who are watching, if you remember when I scrolled down, Gene, Gene had Gene is Andy's partner. Uh, I'm, I'm finding it hard to talk now. And uh uh, a rocking, rocking the pink hoodie. Uh, and if I just have a look, a look at this and blow it up so that we can read that comment down at the bottom. So G Maven's purple and turquoise sabre model, egg scale resin, Angry Phoenix Joe added a bright splash of colour to the Sesco names of the Community Scale Model Club table and the smoke cloud was fashioned from airbrushed cotton wool. Andy, what did yeah. she say to that? She was blown away. Uh, I saw the guy um, in, interviewing her over him, uh, which I, I was I were absolutely yeah. chuffed to bits because uh, she, she didn't really think it were worth taking. I said, look, take them. I mean, look at them. I mean, they're, they're somewhat different, whatever, and she's got an, an LED bottom that illuminates the cotton wool, and it, 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 it made her day, really, and it made mine as well. I was chuffed to bits for her, you know, to get something like that. It's a bit odd out of the box, but it works. It's brilliant and it looks good. And so you can't it just, what else can you say? You know, I'm proud as punch with her for it. Proud as punch. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I am as well because 
as, as a lady that's uh, relatively new to Obi, you know, she's got uh, uh, her confidence is getting better, but she's got very little. In. She, she never feels worthy, Andy, that, oh, why have I got that on? Why have I got a mention? Yeah. Yeah. She, she's, mention? She's, deserve she's, it, she's not she's very self effacing and she's still very, uh, how can I put it, not shy. She's still very reserved in what she does. Um, yeah, right. uh, she's only sort of got into it since we got back together again uh, yeah. after many, many years apart. Uh, but she's taken to it like a duck to water. I mean, you'll see the kitchen out. The, the brilliant, you know, absolutely brilliant. She won't have it, you know. So, yeah, proud as Oh, no, she won't. I know. I know. Right, so uh, let me just, so I'm going to put, uh, let's get us back on screen now, mate. Uh, so we've got some, so there's a couple of comments on, uh, and I can get rid of a couple of these windows and make a couple of these windows bigger. So let's look at where we started, uh, where we stopped off last time. So, if you remember that one, so uh, if you're watching EE, you have some 1 in 48 length seat belts if you want them. Uh, totally free of charge because I ordered the wrong ones. And I said, Who are the four? And he's replied, Andy, and he said, For Clemmy. Oh, I, yeah, Clemmy and his blanks. Yeah, love them. Absolutely. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, what else did he put there? I have to look at it. It's for EE. -E. E, -E, e E is short for Ian, where I come from. Do you know that? No, I've never heard of that. No, uh, yeah. Uh, that's quite an old one, but Mr. Taz is off now. Love to all respect. Uh, and then the last one is uh, is James saying Trumpy. It's the Trumpy, and that's for Marx. That's for Marx. Uh, on the bench at the moment, so I am a little bit torn. I am a little bit torn. I'm just going to get this camera uh, out of my face because it's uh, I can literally feel like it's breathing down my neck, uh, and I've got me my phone over there that's actually acting as a different camera. At the moment, I've still got a red arrow, which is coming along, Andy. Yeah. Uh, I know it's uh, it's going to be sort of hard to see, but it's a little 1 in 72 Revel Hawk uh, done in the red arrow livery. Uh, all the decals were an absolute nightmare, mate. Uh, Sol and set. I could have literally bathed it in a bath of Sol and set. Uh, but uh, it's all right where it is. It's... Let me put my yeah. other camera. Jesus Christ! I need a cameraman. Uh, they, they they have gone on. Uh, they have gone on all all right. Here I am, and that's it. Uh, they have gone on all all right. In the yeah, end, with that. loads and loads of solid set, mate. Red arrow. Yeah. So I need. Yeah. Uh, I just need to gloss coat that, and then uh, get that finished off for for Neil. Uh, oh, in the cool. meantime. I'm thinking, I'm talking to uh, Radders uh, in the world and James Dan Saf, right, Dan Saf. Uh, and we're talking about the boat. But in the meantime, I've started this Euro fighter blackjack. Uh, and even though I'm a plane builder, mate, I'm sort of, because I've done a, a bus and I've done a bike and I've done helicopters and literally everything, uh, an attack on fork truck that I've kind of put to one side. I, I, I'm not saying I don't build airplanes anymore because that's me bread and butter. But I'm moving yeah. away from airplanes a little bit, mate. And uh, yeah. one side, what do I need to do? Oh, I've had to fit a new garage door, which is done. And I did say that once that were done, this blackjack is going back in the box and I'm going to start my boat. Start you up. You start, up. Start me Vosper. I'm going to start me Vosper. Which will be music right, to yeah. the ears, uh, of Paul and James. Uh, so tell us what you're doing, where you're up to. Right, well, you've seen me sheep. Uh, that's that's caused a lot of uh, amusement, me with sheep. I don't know why, but there you go. I'm on with the humor at the moment. Uh, all right, 
I'm on with the Sky Train that's uh, still in the process of being filled and sanded. Um, uh, I've got the Concord on the go, the Fiat one. Concord? Yeah, Concord. It's only 172. Uh, no, the 144. So that's going. Uh, yeah. I've also got far too many going on. What have I got in there? And I've got the, a, a friend of mine, John North. I used to race at the same place he did years ago. Uh, got a Fiat 131 rally car that I'm doing. Uh, I've also got this that I'm working on. Bear with me. Hold it right there. That's better. Oh, you're posting pictures of that on Facebook group. That's mint, that, mate. It's my first ever real uh, excursion into heavy weathering like that. Heavy weathering. Heavy weathering. Uh, well and truly used. Um, there's still a fair bit to do on it, as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. It's it, it's getting there. I'm trying to make it look old and tired. A bit what like kit is it, Andy? Is it a hell of kit? It's the... Oh. ICM? Mini Art. Mini Art. I think it's the Mini Art. I can't put my hand on the box just at the moment. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's Mini Art or something like that. Yeah, so I'm quite... The, the kit were basically a snap together. But yeah. it, it's gone again the pretty well, and I'm getting there with it. So, hence Hold the it sheep. back up. Let's have another look. And obviously, you've got sheeps and a sheep dog, uh, and yeah, now well, you've got a tractor. Yes. I love that, mate. That looks... Uh, was it a good build, Andy? It won't, but like I said, it's basically a snap together, but... I didn't realise that when I bought it. Uh, went together lovely. Uh, and then I've just sort of used various things to put dints in bonnet and... Yeah, mate. Stuff like that, you know, chunks out of bonnet. I'm happy with that. That sort of thing, you know what I mean? So, it's uh, I've even got a, seat, a, a, a tear in the seat. Yeah. So it's something I'm trying. Oh, I'm not 100% confident with it, but I'm getting there. It's something new, it's something different. Yeah. So, yeah. So hopefully it'll all come together pretty well. So that's about it oh, just for time being. Yeah. Uh, James says tractor looks great, Andy. Thank you very much, James. Thank you. Uh, and it certainly does. What's our genie up to? Because down at club, she's been doing cheese ladies. Yes, she is. She's got... Um, the monsters, as you know, uh, she's doing. It's like a cheese stall, if you can imagine it, with a cart and cheese and women and all that sort of stuff. She's on with that at the moment. Uh, she's on with someone else, but I can't just see it at the moment. So obviously, with her not being here, I can't show you. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, I mean, stuff she's doing at minute's just cracking. It really is. So and is can I just have a call? Paul. Mr. Patton, General Patton. Uh, uh, yes. For the amount of time she he talks to her and bulls her up. It, coming from me, I don't think she totally gets that I'm actually complimenting her. I'm just bullying her, being who I am. But when she gets it off Paul and yourself or other people at club, it's sort of starting to click, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, mate. Yeah, she's on, she's on with it. But what annoys me seriously is her desk. Right, there ain't a thing at a bleeding place there. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, everything <laughs> is just like I'll come back and I've got stuff everywhere. I'll come back yeah. from work. And that's all in a line, and this is all in a line. But that's the way she works. Can't knock her, but just leave my stuff alone. It's mine. Bless her. Happy days. Bless her. So, <laughs> so. Just before we wrap it up, uh, March. So we've had two in January, two in February, two in March. We are fast approaching. We've got two in April, standard clubs. But then on the first club in May, 24-hour build. Are you making that? 
We may be there uh, to show us faces and do bits and bobs, but we won't be there for the 24 hours. But the reason why will become more uh, explainable later on. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, dates have collapsed, but that's the way it's going to be. But we will be there to show, we'll show us faces and this and other. Weekend after that, 11th of May, we're going down to Duxford, mate. Yeah, that's all sorted. Um, I've been talking to Angie about that today. She's like, I can't wait to go. Yeah. Uh, the SR71, I've got to go and see that. It's yeah. it's just, I've got to see it. It's just living history, that, isn't it, really? It's just living history, that thing. Yeah, you mate. know, so yeah. um, I've I've never, I've never, I've seen so many YouTube videos on it. Yeah. I've seen so many pictures of it. I, I, I just can't comprehend the size of it in my head, I don't think, until I actually go down and see it. I mean, the, the thing about where it used to sit there and leak until it got up to speed yeah, and mate. it sealed itself, I mean, stuff like that. I mean, yeah. it's still of a thing to take up that you know it's leaking fuel to start off with and you've got to give it, you've got to get it the beans so it warms yeah. up and it seals the tanks. Then they fill it yeah. up and go, right. Uh, I mean, some of the text is it seven minutes or four minutes from John O'Groats to Land's End? Not long. It's just, it's somewhere in that. I can't remember the exact figure, but what a bloody machine that is. Yeah, so, mate. yeah, that'd be pretty cool to see. Yeah, I'm looking forward yeah, to it. Can't wait to go down. Yeah. Uh, long day and then just the normal club, then. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're busy. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> All good. Busy, busy All as good. Mate. Next meeting, uh, I have given Doug Tuck the keys uh, because I'm uh, otherwise engaged in the morning, but I am hoping to get down first. Uh, so next club, let me just have a look. First, second, third uh, is the 6th of April. Next club is the... Does that mean there's... Hang on. One, two, three, four. There's five Saturdays this month. All right. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, there is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is. Which means it looks so, like I'm going fishing for a couple of weekends. Right. So will we be clubbing on 30th or not? No, mate. No, we only we only ever do the first and the third because it, 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 oh, it yeah. was too confusing for people that, that couldn't get it, mate. Yeah, as just as being explained. Yeah. All right then, mate. Cool. Excellent. 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 So uh, that'll just about do. So we've talked about, uh, we've seen the vlog. We've talked about everybody that's been. We've been through the numbers. We've been through the YouTube. We've been through the Facebook page. Thank you for joining me this evening, mate. Really, really Absolutely appreciate it. Absolutely. No problem at all, mate. I've right enjoyed it as usual. Just a shame okay. I couldn't get all the jeans uh, pro, uh, work, work in progress. But uh, I'll sort that out for next time, Paul. No problem, Cocker. Thank you for your time, and I will catch you soon. No all right, then, Cheers, mate. All. Cheers. Tell our love. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Cheers, love. And that just leaves me. Let me switch my camera around because I'm very aware that my camera's over there, and I do like to just wrap up uh, with a quick one. So I'm going to put me onto that one. PC monitor. Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Mod Club. So, such a busy, busy day today. Uh, obviously, as, as far as, you know, sitting down with the book, taking the subs, making sure that everybody's comfortable, making sure that everybody's got the brews and ordered the sandwiches and all that kind of thing. Comfortable, heating on, lighting on. Uh, it's just part and part of the job. That's That's just what it is. Uh, but thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy it. And the more people that come, the more I absolutely love it. 24 people in today, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, I say it every single time. I thought it was going to be really, really quiet today. Uh, but uh, but no, it's 24. 24 people in a room, even that size. Uh, it, it does feel, uh, it, it felt really, really good today. Everybody building loads and loads of different things. Uh, sci-fis, sci-fi, sci-fi, cheese ladies, uh, tanks, armoured vehicles, more sci-fi, aircraft, and on the cars, Gene, uh, Gene on cheese, Gene on cheese, uh, Angie on the car, Mark Wilson on figures and bus, everybody 
really, really doing what, what they love and it's and it's great to see. And the other thing as well is, you know, people aren't stagnant. Uh, you, you get guys that come and they'll do a little bit and then after sort of like 20 minutes, half an hour, they'll have a walk around and what you're doing because everybody is friendly, everybody's getting on. And everybody's asking the question, oh, what are you doing? Have you done that? And that sort of thing. Uh, and then on top of that, I had to take the photos. Don't forget, uh, if you want to, uh, you're obviously nobody's forcing anybody to buy anything. But if you want to go and have a look at the merch, uh, Glow, G-L-O-W-E, Glow family. I'm just going to put that comment back on the screen. Go on to your Google, type in Glow family, find the link. Uh, and have a look at the merch because the lads and lasses who've been modelling for me this morning, uh, I put it out onto our Facebook page the other the other week and said, you know, does anybody want to come and do a little bit of modelling? Uh, and, uh, and and nobody was shy about it. Everybody stepped up to the plate, uh, and it, and it were really really great, really great. Uh, so doing that as well, and then tying up with uh, Mark and Ange as well for uh, for the Duxford trip. Because we've got the Duxford trip coming up, like I say, uh, and then we're all going to batter down to to go and kip at Graham's. We're not really. Uh, we're all going to go and park on Graham's Drive for the Cleethorpe Air Show as well. Uh, so yeah, that'll just about do. Uh, Mark Bridge, uh, get well soon, mate. Really, really hope that you are pulling through, uh, and, and everybody at club has got uh, all the fingers crossed for you as well. Cocker, same for you, Davey boy. Uh, get that leg sorted, mate. Take it easy. Okay, I know that you listen to your consultants, both of you. Uh, Bob the model at same as well. And everybody else that's poorly, including myself. I, not really poorly, am I? Not compared to these lads uh, that's uh, that's battling all sorts of stuff. And I'm, I'm sort of like feeling sorry for myself because I've got a little bit of cough come cold. Real cough, cough, cold and all, man flow. Uh, next meeting is in uh, one, two, it's in three weeks' time. Okay, next meeting is in three weeks' time. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, listening to me and Andy Waffle on tonight. A uh, couple of comments uh, just to finish up on. Uh, that's uh, in relation to the boat. Cheers for that, James. Tractor looks great. Thank you once again. Uh, Dave, thank you for the evening, guys. You are more than welcome. I do enjoy live streaming uh, and sharing our experiences with club. Uh, and James, thanks, Gaffer. You're welcome, James. Thank you very much. I will get that sprue old <laughs> to you uh, before it sprouts roots and branches. I'm absolutely promising you, mate. Uh, but you can tell just by uh, even the last two minutes, I'm waffling on about how busy I am trying to get rid of this cold. Juggle work, juggle the club, juggle my son and his fishing and his darts and his football and the missus and the washing and the daughter that's home from university. And I ought to just click end live stream, really, didn't I? Guys, thanks a million. And uh, now then, before I go, somebody did say to me today, when are you going to post a build video again, Mark? Because all you're doing is posting club. Well, uh, honestly, his best policy. The Tack and Fork truck, back in box. The Red Arrow's nearly finished. It's not for me. The Black Jack's going in the box. So the next one will be the Italiani Mass. Uh, and I've got to build the chuffing thing first before I even think about putting a video together for that. So it could literally be absolutely ages. But uh, never mind, never mind. I do like sharing club with you all. Okay. Oh, whatever it is that you're building, whatever it is that you're doing, uh, it's coming together uh, well for you and your paint jobs are going great uh, and your uh, your putty is sanding off nice and tidy and everything is cool. Okay. Enjoy the hobby. Enjoy each other. Keep posting and uh, I'll catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>